Hello and welcome on DDS, the R programming channel. Today, I will show you how to upload Excel data into R. In my case, I won't use Microsoft Excel, but I will use uh, Open Spreadsheet because it's a free version that everybody can use. Let's say that I have this spreadsheet in front of me, and if there are there is any formatting, um, or let's say there was there was a column on the top here and something on the side um, here, then that may be a bit problematic. What you would want to do is first you would want to clean up your spreadsheet a bit so that you really have your header on the top and a full data table uh, here for whatever you need. You will go in your file saving options and then you'll do save as because you don't want to save it as um, for Excel, it's XLSX. You don't want to save it in that format. You want to save it in a very kind of simple text format. And the text format that's used very often is called a CSV, which stands for comma separated variables. And so here you'll navigate anywhere in your computer that you want to save it. And let's say that I want to save it as example.csv. Here I will have to make sure that I save it as a CSV instead of a spreadsheet format or, or, or something equivalent. So now that I've done that, I can go on and save it. In my case, it will ask if I want to replace it. Yes, I do. And then sometimes you'll also have a pop-up that comes up and that lets you know that you will lose some functionalities if you save in that format. But you go ahead and you do that. Keep in mind, though, that if you keep working on that version that is now saved as a CSV and that you write formulas and things like that and that you keep saving your work in that way, then you close your, your spreadsheet. When you open it back, you won't have your uh, functions into it and anything interactive from, from Excel or from the spreadsheet functionalities. So you save it in the CSV, but then you close it and if you want to work on it, then you go back to an XLX6 version or a, another spreadsheet. So now that we closed it, we can open our, our studio and um, we can try to go open it and navigate to it. So in my case, I came right away into it. And so it was example.csv open. So you can see that what was saved from the spreadsheet is just text. And anytime we had a column, it's separated with a comma. So you see all the commas here. Now, how do we bring that into R? Well, we will use a function called read.csv. And, and here our studio gives us a, a little pop-up. And we see that the first thing we should enter is the file name. Sometimes if you wonder where is your file, a good thing to do is to navigate to your file on your computer and right click on it and go to properties. And then the file path will be shown there. It's very important when you write your file path that um, on, on Mac and Linux system, it will be a slash like that. But on Windows, you will have to write it the other direction. And so if you're on a Windows computer, you will want to do something like this. And your system, your windows, will write it as a single backslash, but in R that won't work because a single backslash is something that escapes the thing that follows. So you have to do it twice because backslash is a bit of a special character. And so you will replace everything with something like this. Once you've done that for the whole path, then you'll be able to run the function. In my case, I'll keep it like that. Then I can just run that and you see that it has uh, read my file. It uh, usually in the column names, it will replace the spaces with a period. Usually I will want to save that into a variable. So let's say that I want to save that into a data frame. I will do it just like that and you will be able to navigate it. And you see now that I'm back with the same table that I had in my spreadsheet spreadsheet, but now I have it in R. So when I read CSVs, I have different options. I can tell it that my file has no header. Uh, so I could say header false and header false. And in this case, it will 
create a new header called uh, v1 and v2 and the header in our case because we actually had a header will just become a normal uh, data row or you can also specify the separator so sometimes your text file is not actually a comma separated text file sometimes it can be a tab separated text file and so you could want to do sep equal like that and then you'll do tab which is backslash that's the way to say tab in r so you will do it like that in my case because it was a comma separated file it won't find any tab and so it will think that i have only one column there is uh maybe a last parameter that can be interesting it's the string as factors so strings and factors is something we cover in our intro video that uh, you will find a link just right on top here uh, but you, right now the only thing that you need to know is that sometimes it will be useful to have a string turned as factor true and sometimes it will be useful to not have it by default if you're on r 4.0 and above your strings will stay strings but if you're on r 4.0 and below your strings will be right away automatically turned into factor i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time